So this video is going to be about setting up a custom template for SketchUp 2017. It seems to be very similar to the process for SketchUp 2016, but there's possibly one step not required. There's one I'm not going to do. We're going to start out by looking at the idea of the template. We started up SketchUp, we started up with a simple metric template. It's great, but it's not what we're looking for. So we're going to come along here and we're going to go to Windows, we're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to come along to Template. See, simple metric temp uh, template in meters, but what we're going to use as the basis for what we're going to be doing is down here, it's woodworking millimeters. We select it, we click OK, nothing happens. And that's because the template is applied when you start a new model. So come up to the top left, click on New to create a new model. We don't need to save any changes to Untitled, and there we have it. Simple, plain, grey sort of background. What we see here then is that we can change what we have over here. I still want to go and change my styles. I want to get rid of that grey. So I'm going to click on Styles in the trays over here. I am going to click on my background colour here. It comes up with Colour Wheel. It's actually easier to do this in RGB. And we're going to set these colors, all three of these numbers, all three up to 255, 255, 255. Click OK. That's white. You could actually make it a little bit smaller, the numbers. You could make it 250, 250, 250, which is a very light shade of gray. It takes off some of the uh, glare from your eyes, but it also shows up if you print. So I generally run it on 255, 255, 255, plain white background. That's all we really need to do with styles. We can minimize that again. The other thing we need to do, there are a few settings that are to do with the model preferences, model information. So window again, window menu, model information. Now there are a few little possibilities here. Animation, I do nothing with. Classification, I do nothing with. Components, I do nothing with. Credits, I do nothing with. You can add your model authors if you want. Dimensions, I do do something here. The default text within SketchUp is 12 point home. I tend to find that that is a little bit small. I tend to go to fonts and I change that up to 14. Just wait a while for it to come up. 14, click OK. When I'm dealing with dimensions, I have a couple of options that I sometimes consider. I have closed arrow, which is an arrow on each end of the dimension, closed head, open arrow, just two lines, that's also sometimes useful. I actually quite like slash. You can use any of the three. I'm going to set it for slash for now. Now we're going to go look at file. It tells you nothing about the file here. It gives you the version number though. Geolocation, so you could geolocate a model if you're doing one of the building. We don't need to do that. Rendering, we're not going to be using that at all. Statistics doesn't really help us right now. Text, once again, we have the fonts. So I'm going to click on the font 14. We're going to click on the font for the leader text 14. All right, and here we have leader lines with closed arrow. I do use a closed arrow here. We don't have the option of a slash. We have dot, closed arrow, open arrow. Closed arrow is my preference. Click on units. Now, We've set decimal millimeters. We set that up by choosing the woodworking millimeter template. We have a precision here of 0.0, .0 millimeters. That's what shows up on the dimensions. And we don't need to see that much detail, so we're going to click that to 0 millimeters. We do want to enable length snapping. We do not want to display the units format. We're going to know that they're in millimeters. And angles, precision. Sometimes it is useful to show angles as fractions of a degree, because remember, an eighth of a semicircle or a quadrant is 22 and a half degrees. But mostly we're just going to go with simple precision again. We're going to enable in angle snapping and 15 degrees is sufficient. That's it. Close that window. Your workspace is almost ready, but I'm going to show you one more trick. When I draw a rectangle here, you can see that the workspace, I've got three and a half meters. Now mostly if we're doing woodwork, I might start with something that's 100 by 100 size. That's pretty small on my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hit Zoom Extents, 
and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. That's not bad. I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse to do that, and I have my cursor directly below the corner of the origin here. And that's why it's zoomed out in this direction. So that's fine. That's my basic template. I'm going to delete that rectangle again, because what I'm going to do is, based on what you see here, is what the um, template is going to turn out to be like. To save it as a template, I have to go File, Save as Template, and I have to just put in there my general template. And I can put in my description here, which says metric millimeters white background. So those are the main things that I've changed. My file name is generaltemplate.skp. Important, I want this ticked. I want this to become my default template. So I'm going to now hit save. And every time I open a drawing, it's going to start up with this template sitting here. White background, metric units, what done in millimeters. And we're going to be zoomed in so that when we place down a rectangle, we're only going to be able to drag out a couple hundred millimeters. And that's fine. From here on, go ahead, let's start using SketchUp. Thank you.